Hello, it's Mary Precious on Bookworth TV. Welcome to another grammar lesson on possessive nouns. When a noun changes its spelling, it achieves a different meaning from the former. For instance, most nouns add S when they change the number from singular to plural. They also add X when they want to show that they own something. In this case, they function as adjectives by modifying another noun. Is there any difference between possessive nouns and plural nouns? Walk with me through this lesson and see the answers to your questions on this topic, possessive nouns. Also do the exercise at the end to assess yourself. Let's get started. We shall begin by looking at the difference between plural nouns and possessive nouns. Plural nouns. Possessive nouns. Many plural nouns end in S. For instance, the boys are happy. The soldiers have returned. On the other hand, possessive nouns always have apostrophe in them. The boy's new shoe. The soldier's rifle. You will notice that both the plural nouns and possessive nouns used in the examples above sound exactly alike. I'm sure you also noticed the slight difference in the two spellings. Present in the possessive nouns is the apostrophe, the boy's new shoe, meaning a shoe that belongs to the boy. The soldier's rifle, meaning a rifle that belongs to the soldier. Let's now see some basic rules that guide how we use the apostrophe to form possessive nouns. Rule number one, making singular nouns possessive. Add apostrophe and S to a singular noun for it to become possessive. Boys, soldiers, Henry's. Have you seen the boy's new shoes? The soldier's rifle looks mean. This is Henry's dad, Mr. Jones. Be careful never to write your apostrophe like a comma. See where my apostrophes are and practice writing yours the same way. Let's see the second rule. Rule number two, making nouns, names that already end in S possessive. Some names end in S. You can just add an apostrophe to the S or you add apostrophe S. Either is allowed. Chelsea's with apostrophe at the end or Charles's with apostrophe and S. James's, Dennis's. Were you at Charles's party last night? Oh, how I admire Mr. James's car. Please show me Dennis's house. Rule number three, making plural nouns possessive. For all plural nouns that end in S, simply add an apostrophe to form their possessive. Girls, dogs, prisoners. All the girls' results have been released. 
The five dogs' tails appear infected with the disease. The prisoner's cells have been cleaned. Do not be confused about which now that will take the apostrophe. The first now it is girl's results, dog's tails, prisoner's cells. You will notice that the second now belongs to the first. Therefore, it is the first that takes the apostrophe. Rule number four, making plural nouns that do not add S possessive. A number of plural nouns do not add S. Just add an apostrophe, then S. For instance, men's, children's, women's. Are these the only men's words you have? The children's nanny is absent again today. Why not join the women's wing of the association? Rule number five. Forming possessive nouns from compound nouns. To change compound nouns into possessive nouns, just add S to the last word. Mother-in-law's house. Chief mate's room. Stepson's toy. The party will happen at my mother-in-law's house this weekend. They found the missing bracelet in the chief mate's room. Have you found my stepson's toy? Recap. Possessive nouns are nouns that show ownership or possession. Basically, they function as adjectives by modifying another noun, usually the one after it. Possessive nouns are easily recognized. The trick is in the apostrophe. It is always there, whether with the S or without it. Now do the exercise in the next slides. Activity one, rewrite each expression using possessive nouns. E.g. the feathers of the bird becomes the bird's feathers. Be very careful so that you can place the apostrophe in the right place. In this example, the feathers belong to only one bird. Hence, the apostrophe and S come after D in bird. One, the roars of the lions becomes the lion's roars. Two, the results of the student becomes the student's results. Three, beautiful towers of Paris. will be written as Paris's beautiful towers with apostrophe after S or Paris's beautiful towers with apostrophe and S. Four, 
the dogs of Thomas becomes Thomas's dogs. Thomas with an apostrophe after S. All Thomas's dogs. Thomas with apostrophe and S. Five. The houses of my brother's in law will become my brother's in law's houses. Activity two. From the three words in the brackets, choose the one that best fills in the gap. Be careful. Some statements should not have possessive nouns. Example, have you seen the twins? The correct answer is the twins without apostrophe. Six, did you notice the spots on the cat's tails? The correct one is cat, C-A-T-S, then apostrophe. Seven, the smell of these roses is very pleasant. The correct one is roses without Apostrophe. Eight. Are your sons twins? The right one there is sons, S O N S, without apostrophe. Nine. Babies cry more at night. Babies cry more at night. The right one? Babies without apostrophe. Ten. Kindly return my brother's property to them. Kindly return my brother's property to them. And the correct one is brothers with apostrophe after S. Thanks for staying with me to the end. Kindly like, share and subscribe for more interesting lessons on English.